Six now, Hillary on Julian, the embarrassed former Democrat candidate for president, Hillary Clinton, is weighing in on the arrest of WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. It's not about uh, punishing journalism. It's about uh, assisting the hacking of the military computer to steal uh, information from uh, the United States government. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Barry, I hate to say it, though, in the, in the aggregate, in the big picture, I agree with Hillary Clinton, is that Julian Assange needs to be held accountable here. And I look at it this way. Uh, this is not journalism. This is nonsense. It has nothing to do with journalism, this taking of these 700,000 files. This is theft. Yeah, there's, there's a couple stories here, one of which nobody's talking about. The weird, ironic situation is on this date in history, Graham Ledger, Barry Nussbaum, and Hillary Clinton agree. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, mark that one down. Of, it's never going to happen the again. the apocalypse or what. <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure. Here's Hillary ironically talking about Julian Assange, who did something terrible, published hundreds of thousands of documents. What Hillary's not talking about, which no one seemed to want to ask her, is how about the other documents that were um, published, 30,000 emails taken from a hacking job uh, on the server in the apartment uh, that had Hillary Clinton's personal computer. 30,000 emails that probably had a significant impact on nobody believing Hillary. Remember, when she was first asked about wiping her server, she made the joke about wiping the computer clean with a cloth. She still has never been held accountable. There's probably an investigation going on right now with the IG. And at some point, there's going to be a new story, which is those 30,000 emails on a private server were not all about weddings and parties and grandchildren. No. And that's the real story that nobody talks about. Yep, only Hillary and Carlos Danger know for sure what was on those uh, emails. <laughs> 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 Former Congressman Anthony Weiner, I'm referring to. Uh, in Ohio, we have this. It's very important as part of a trend. I want to get to that in just a minute. But we have uh, this movement toward protecting life in the womb. It's a wonderful thing. Roll tape. The essential function of government uh, is to protect the most vulnerable among us, those who do not have a voice. Government's role should be to protect life from the beginning to the end. And so this is heartbeat legislation number six, by my count, uh, and counting in the individual states, and four are pending, including uh, in Georgia, where there's a heartbeat bill sitting on the desk uh, of the governor right now. And this is a wonderful trend. It's ironic how you describe it, because it's completely different than all of the mainstream media. Major outlets from coast to coast condemned what happened in Ohio as an affront to individual liberty and the rights of the mother. It's the same subject taken from a different perspective. And oh, how the system has changed in the last few years. It used to be abortion was legal up to the end of the first trimester, then the second trimester. Then some states crossed the line in the third trimester. Now you can have the baby or abort the baby on the same day and in a bunch of states, that's legal. As my mother used to say, life starts when you feel something, and that is around the end of the first trimester. So this heartbeat legislation tracks well with what my mother used to say, and I'm scared that there's such a divergence of reporting on the same subject. You call it protecting life, but Graham, most of the country, at least in the mass media, thinks that this is an affront to women everywhere. And I think that your mom would be happy about the labeling of these legislations being heartbeat because that, that's what this is all about. Life is about a heartbeat and there is a heartbeat in the womb and we need people in America to use their hearts and their minds but use their hearts when they consider life in the womb. Real quick, uh, Ocasio-Cortez uh, and Omar, the congresswoman, the, the freshman, are, are being threatened. Uh, what do you expect? First of all, I say welcome to the club. But when you're Omar, what do you expect when you say, when you're talking about 9-11, you're saying some people did something? 
I don't think the vast majority of America, and I mean even the ones that defend her, can do so with a straight face and a clean conscience when she talks about 9-11 as if it was somebody got their newspaper delivered late. The affront to New Yorkers especially and first responders and every family that lost somebody in that horrific day is astoundingly and truly justifiably upset today, including the Democratic representatives from New York who are saying she's wrong. This was not just something. It was the worst terroristic attack in the history of the United States on our soil. Right. And she looks at it as the paper was late. She and deserves the outcry against her. And speaking of paper, the New York Post, I, I think, uh, summed it up very well this week. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. It'll come right up. Barry, thanks.